the shelf. And today I'm making a simple card and I'm using the stamp set by May May Made It. And this one is called Birdie Says. I just think it's so cute. So what I'm doing, I'm using the sentiment that says don't hide in the storm, dance in the rain. And I'm using the um, umbrella and I'm using the little, the biggest bird that she has and a few of the song notes and the little raindrops that she has. And again, I will put her link below so that you guys, if you're interested, you can run over there and pick one up. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I kind of had it laid out just because I, I wanted to see, you know, how it's going to look and kind of get an idea. So what I did, or what I'm going to do is I have this really bright yellow paper and I'm just going to stamp it right here. And I'm going to use my archival jet black ink. I'm just going to stamp him here because I want to um, I'm going to fussy cut him out and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stamp him again on the green paper but I'm going to cut off his legs <laughs> because he's going to cover up so that I don't accidentally you know when I stamp him on the actual card so that's just going to cover up what um, I don't want to be stamped over so I'm going to do that really quick post-it note and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of cut around the bottom just so that when I go to stamp the legs line up correctly and I stamped it again I stamped it on the sticky part so that when we put it down and I figure out for sure where I want to put him I just set him down and then I'm going to take my birdie stamp, the little bird, and I just want the legs on this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the, the mask, and then we have our little legs. You could draw them in if you wanted to. I just thought, well, I have my post-it notes right here, and it's just, just as easy. So since I fussy cut and I didn't get it perfect, I'm going to go ahead and use my black marker and go around him. And this makes him look like he was cut out perfectly. And he's going to go right there. There's still a little part right there that doesn't look very good. Isn't that cute? <laughs> So that's one way you can do, you know, the masking or um, one way you can do this little set. I just think it's such an, uh, an adorable little set. Now I have the umbrella. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop him down. But I kind of want it at a, at a turn because I don't want him under the... I'm going to move this out of the way. I don't want him under the umbrella or not much. It's okay if he is a little bit, but okay. So now I'm just going to uh, glue him down and, but first I think I'm going to color him just a little bit so that he has a little bit of dimension. I'm just going to use some of the ink. Well, no. Just going to use just a sharpie. I want his little beak to be a little bit oranger. Isn't that cute? I love him. <laughs> okay, and for the wing, I think we will do 
I think we'll do an orange also, but I'm going to use this Distress Marker, which is Spice Marmalade. And this will just give him a little bit of, you know, dimension. And, and it just kind of gives him a bunch of, um, just gives him some highlights and stuff. Then I'm going to use my black Posca paint pen, if I can find it. Can I put them in here? And I'm just going to highlight his eyeball, just so it's a little bit bigger and brighter. Okay, now I'm going to glue him down as soon as that dries. Isn't he cute? And I'm going to use some of this um, foam tape, kind of give him a little bit of dimension. There we go. I'm putting him right here, so he's kind of popping off the page. <laughs> so cute. Okay, and for the this thing for the um, umbrella. I'm just going to put some different colors on it. I'm going to put some blue just to make it a little bit um, darker. I think I'm going to use some purple. I'm just kind of decorate it. And then just because something to kind of anchor it to the ground, I'm going to use a fabric castell pen and just kind of give it just a little bit of a um, shadow. There we go. Let's kind of do a little bit bigger one there. There we go. That looks kind of cute. Okay, and I'm just going to use a couple of the little musical notes that Mamie has on this. Because the sentiment I'm using is, don't hide in the storm, but dance in the rain. And I think if you're dancing, you're going to be singing. <laughs> so for this, I'm going to use my, my black archival ink. And I'm just going to put a few musical notes, you know, above the um, little birdie. And I misplaced one of them, so I'm just going to use the two that, oh, here it is right here. I'm going to go ahead and put these down before I lose them. These little musical notes are so cute, but they're really tiny. <laughs> okay. And then I'm using the smallest one just to kind of finish it off and put this one kind of up here so it looks okay and then I'm going to put those on and then I'm going to use my little raindrops and I'm using the solid ones that way I don't have to come back in and color them even though I'm on blue paper 
So I'm just using the solid raindrops that she has. And she has several different sizes. And she has the solid ones and then just the outline ones. And she even has a, um, like a set of three, which I think is really cute. So I'm just going to put some of these here. And then if you start with the largest, you can come back in with the, you know, the smallest and um, fill in any spaces that need to be filled. So I'm going to use three of these. kind of got a little bit of ink on my bird so if I was going to do this again in fact I might need to let me see if I can wipe it off I think the ink was on the side of my ink block and so when I was coming in you know what I'm going to do I'm just going to go ahead and stamp out another bird and I'm just going to um, fix that. really quick okay and then he's going right here I have a few other spots and I think they're okay you know when it's raining it's splashing so maybe that's fine don't hide in the storm dance in the rain so I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna put that on the inside of my card I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm just gonna kind of put it towards the bottom probably about a third of the way up. I just think that'd be really cute. I'm just using my archival jet black ink. Okay. And then hopefully we'll get a good impression. And that looks pretty good. Okay, and I'm just going to glue this down right here. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this down and I just use some double stick tape. Okay, and to finish it up, I'm using some glossy accents. And I'm just gonna put that on the uh, umbrella. see it really it'll be it's kind of um, it's kind of cloudy right now but when it dries it'll dry clear and it'll look really cute and I have a wink Estella pen that I hardly ever use and I think I should use it more often 
I'm going to wink of Stella the little bird. I think it'll just be really cute. And, you know, if you're going to brighten someone's day, you may as well make it fun and cheerful for them. Uh, try not to get the eye because I kind of want it to stick out. There we go. And in the pictures, you'll be able to see how the um, glossy accents looks because it'll be all dry and shimmery and stuff. I think you'll really like how it looks. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned in the next because in the next few weeks I have some things I've been really working hard on and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you to all my old subscribers. You guys are so great. So thank you again for everything and you guys have a great day.